please make some choices before we proceed to character customization. Okay. <laughs> Tutorial done. Feels good, man. Tutorial done. Uh, we need someone with a sunburn on their nose. That looks good. I kind of like that. Oh, well, this probably looks more like me. We'll go with this. That's not, we'll go with the generic. Seems good. Can't be too pasty now that I'm red and burnt. We'll go right in the middle. I'm just gonna say that needs them with a small sunburn. <laughs> or make you an add a sunburn. Possibly. Possibly. That would be nice. Uh, God, I cannot wait till this thing goes away, to be honest. Oh, they they have the mullet option. <laughs> I guess they have to have the mullet option with it being uh, Montana. That is so good. That's funny. <laughs> I almost want to just go for it. Go full-blown mullet. <laughs> I love it, man. I love it. You know what? Why not? Why would we? I, I don't know why we wouldn't go for the full blown mullet. We'll go for the blonde mullet, even better. So we'll we'll be really stealthy. It's the next best thing, next to a sunburn. Please confirm your choices are final and cannot be changed. We can't get a haircut. Let's do it. Upper body. <laughs> oh my god, dude! They went all out with these customizations. That's some good shit. That is good stuff right there. Right, we got it. We got to wear the stream, the stream collared shirt. I'm actually wearing plaid right now. About to wear some plaid tomorrow. Suns out, guns out. Indeed. Except not really, because we got to we got to do the <laughs> the blue flannel. We could go. We if I could, we would probably go pantsless, because obviously, as a streamer, I'm not allowed to wear pants. But as it stands, we'll go blue all the way up. All the way down. Headwear. Oh, we got some headwear too. Cool. I have no idea what these say. I say we go non-headwear. Headwear. Um, that seems better. He's blue to the socks. It's right. That's why we couldn't wear a hat because there was no blue hats. These would really fit in well with what he's he's going for. Uh, I think we're just gonna go with the bandages for the. Brutal, beaten down look. Really own it. You have the black leather gloves. Nah, we'll go for the bandages. Seems good, man. Seems good. All right, confirm. Let's go. Talk to Dutch. Let's look around this place first. See if we can get any loot. Oh my God, you guys, you have no idea how glad I am to actually have beaten that section. That was insane. I was. I was to the point where I was almost dreading having to end this stream without having beaten him. The, or that area. The world is a diagonal. I am the balancing point. Oh, damn. Has he just been holed up in here? It's kind of weird. One second, guys. Oh, he sounds like he's on a radio, which is pretty interesting. Oh. Medkit, cool. And this is why we loot. Loot is very obvious. It's not like Skyrim. Yeah, like that, for instance. That was a, a freaking uh, medkit. Oh, damn. These people are straight up dying. Lock, key required. There's some loot in there! I need to get in there. What is that thing? I don't know what that thing is. Hope County Chronicle Letter. It, I'd like to... Oh, dear Mr. Rose, he's writing a letter to the president. I'd like to interview you about our recent altercation. Maybe? Or maybe this is someone else. With government officials over your right to collect rainwater. My understanding is... Oh, this is, this is him from the county. I see. 
My understanding is that you applied for a permit, but you were overturned, leading to our, our to your nights in jail and ongoing court case. I to confirm your statement in court. The water is a God-given right. Okay. The government's stealing our resources out from under us. <laughs> it's up to us to defend our individual rights and liberties. Also, did you really tell the judge, yeah, you bet your lily white ass I'm in contempt of you? That's funny. That is quite funny. So this is the guy that rescued us. Please let me know if you'll go on record. Jeb Boyd, Hope County Chronicle. That's a reporter. He's all nosy. Dad, I got your message. Good to hear you're dropping the charges. We'll try to come out for... Oh, and this is his... his Daughter or son. Robbie, son. Ricky wants to know, to show you how he's riding without training wheels, and Anne's got a lot of, and his grandchildren, looks like. I know how much it means to you. I like it when they add these personal effects of the characters and the stories, because you get to learn, like, kind of how crazy and cool and also family sentimental-ish they are. It adds depth to random characters in the story. Not really for me or Anne, and the school in South Street is one of the best. And let's keep the prepping activities to a minimum. I know Ricky loves it, but it freaks Anne out. The prepping activities. Yeah, prepping for the end of the world, or for doomsday, or maybe a crazy cult taking over. I'm sure there's no need for that. There's no need at all for that. Cool. That's very cool. Loot, I think. Oh, just more documents. Served two nights in jail. Okay, so this is his uh, fight over the water. Very cool. Dutch, you there? This is Ray. What the hell is going on? Oh, it's his daughter or something. Gunshots and I was calling. Boomers all riled up and won't settle down. It was definitely some explosions. How much are we gonna stand for? In fact, I may have set them off. Possibly. I like his aquarium though. It's pretty neat. Handgun ammo, cool. You can't equip it right now, though. I'm actually glad we're exploring all these areas. Because we're actually getting a decent amount of loot and background history on him. Oh, a shovel! Oh, so we just have the ammo. We do have zero grenades as well, but that means we can equip them at some point. Dude, he has got some kind of like... Oh, what was that? Holy shit! It's like a whole throwing weapons mechanic. That is awesome. Alright, nice. I like it. And this is the end of the bunker. Okay, let's go talk to him. To the objective! Let's go. <laughs> talk to Dutch. Dutch Roosevelt. Dutch! Anybody? Anybody copy? He's listening to some music as, we, as he... Oldest brother of the seeds in charge of training for... Their militia up in the White Tail Mountains. Jacob C. the Soldier. Only thing he believes in is sacrifice of the weak. Seems to be running a few psychological experiments up north. All sorts of nightmare stories about people turning on one another at the drop of a hat. Has been linked to the creation of the monster wolves up north. The cult calls judges. Piece of shit. Wait, there's gonna be uh, there's gonna be some crazy ass mutant wolves. I am down for that. Let's kill some. Through the project Needham's Gate. He believes a great collapse is coming. He thinks. Of himself as a modern day Noah, thinks God speaks to him, told him to save as many souls as he can. Now that he's starting the reaping, his followers are willing to die for him. He's had his people build three massive bunkers to protect them from his prophecy comes true. The guy is an absolute nut job. Yes, he is. The siren, oh, this is someone else. Don't know how she's related. Seems like she's just showing up one day. She'll spin you a sob story, but Faith is a liar and a manipulator. She'll poison your mind with bliss if you give her the chance. Anyone just wandering into the hen bed? We're gonna get like seduced by her later, I bet. In Bain River winds up either dead or walking the path to become one of those brain dead angels doing all the cult's hard labor. Interesting. Is that it? Oh, one more. Youngest the Seed Brothers. Oh, so these are all Seed Brothers. Uh, and maybe the most sadistic in charge of her. So, so they're all related. Interesting, except the lady. Those are four steps. He put everyone through to become a member of Eden's Gate if they survive. Cleansing, marking, cleansing, confession, and atonement. John tells everyone to accept the power of yes as the way to get his followers to do whatever the fuck he wants. Great a psychopath. Oops, check, check. I dropped an f bomb. I normally don't do that. Oh well. Anyway, Come here, deputy. let's move we forward. Talk. Let's talk. Let's do it. I didn't properly introduce myself back there. Most folks call me Dutch. I've been trying to piece together what's happening up top. It ain't good. 
It's not good, I agree. I, gather is that your partners are alive. I like this dude. Now. Seems they've been split up. Each one handed off to a different member of Joseph's family. You want them back, I get it. I get it. I got friends that have been taken too. Oh, all four of those people. That's what it is. is. There ain't no help coming. Nobody knows what's going on here, and they won't know until it's too late. And there's got to be people out there willing to fight back against this cult. We just, we need to show them how. We All need right. to build us a resistance. Let's do it. The first thing we're going to do the recruiting is get begins. control of this island. Once we got some breathing room, we can figure out what's coming next. There's a gun and a map in the safe over there. Take them. I'll give you a call on your radio once you get your bearings. Guys, I am so ready for this game. We gotta go clear out a freaking... They just give us free room. We're just gonna go clear out the, the whole, uh... Be careful. Yes! Q to open your menu wheel, select uh, that. Q or press, yeah, to make a selection. Okay, so it's just a simple spin wheel, just like in Dishonored. Melon thermals offer deep selection. Navigate with a slot by scrolling. That, okay. Right there. Crawling with Peggy's. Those fuckers are willing to die for that psychopath. Yeah, I never imagined I'd be teamed up with an officer of the law. I know, I know. Sheriff Whitehorse. You were in the military, man. Everything you know. But Earl and I, well, we go way back, you might say. Now, a minor infraction here, knockdown charge there. Got okay. my bar brawls once upon a time. But I always thought he was the biggest asshole I'd have to deal with. Until Joseph fucking Seed moved in. Yeah, he's a lot worse. That's a, that's all the dialogue. We are probably gonna go try be trying to go through the majority of the dialogue uh, for each character, of course, because we want to know the backstory. Huh. These are all bound to keys, obviously. These are locked. Unlock the weapons offer a perk, additional holster. Okay. So we can also, we have, we can have two weapons right now. And these are our utilities, which is oregano. The hell? Surprisingly good in brownies. <laughs> what a nice fact. Okay. And these look like they're upgradable uh, perks that we need to find different consumables to be able to use. Interesting. That's pretty cool. Liquor. That's weird, the, the wheel doesn't really look like a wheel from here. I don't know why it's like this. It's not at all what it showed in the picture. I mean, it's fine, it's just kind of weird. Anyway, we can also just scroll through our weapons and not have to worry about all that crap. Oh, here's our map. Perfect. Oh, nice! Holy shit, dude. This is awesome. So this is the map so far. I wonder if it's any bigger than this, or if this is as far as it goes in all, all directions. Barlow Residence. You can go there at some point. This is so pretty. This is a good... This is good. I like this. Now listen up. If you're gonna build a resistance, there's some things you need to know. Uh, I wonder if it auto saves or we can just save it. I'm kind of. It looks like it must auto save. Four ways you can go about this. Four. First, you can liberate any hostages the cult's taken. These are good people. We might just fight alongside you if you help them. Okay. Of course we'll do that. Second, you can destroy Eden's Gate property that's all over the place now. Hell, they built two goddamn shrines on this island alone. Holy shit, well, let's go kill those. Third, you can tackle Good nuclear, I'm glad to hear that. There are a lot of folks out there waging their own war against this cult. And they could okay. sure use your help. This is and so last, cool. If you're really looking for a fight, you can take on the cult outposts that have popped up across the county. Liberating those places will give the resistance solid footholds to push back against Eden's Gate. Nice. I do like how they just go ahead and give us like a clear overview of what types of missions we'll be taking on. I think it's pretty cool. 
Liberate Dutch's island. Set up all over this island. I'll keep an eye out for anything useful. For now, nice. head south and take out any culture you see. And help any folks in need, would you? Head south. We wanna go down here, but I kinda wanna go take out this cult shrine first, to be honest. Look, it's Rudolph! It is Rudolph! It's me! Look, it's Demon Reaper. How are you, man? Welcome back, dude. Excuse me, good fellow. I will be killing you now. And you as well! Oh, that's much better. Oh yeah. Give it to me! Are you done with work, man? I hope your, uh, I hope your day went pretty well, uh, Reaper. Let's go ahead and loot everything they have, of course. Handgun ammo, some fasteners. Proximity explosives and some air. Oh, dude. I want to I wanna use some arrows in this playthrough. That'd be sick. More loot. We're obviously going to shoot whatever the hell this poison shit is because that's nasty. Um... Ah, there's the body. Could be throwable via the weapon wheel by holding Q and selecting a direction. Find throwables and explosives on dead bodies and containers. What? <laughs> this is not at all what the description says it should be. Bows in every single Far Cry game are absolutely amazing. You should just do the bow for the entire game. Dude, I would be so down for that. If that's a thing that could happen. That would absolutely be awesome with me. Oh, we can we have to craft them? Interesting. So these we can almost craft. I don't I don't know what the hell this thing about Q and selecting a direction is, because that is not how <laughs> this is operating whatsoever. The, tu the tutorial is completely off. Oh, that's nitro. Cool, cool, cool. Awesome. So we just need to loot up the correct materials to be able to use this, it looks like. <laughs> Nuclear gravity pulled! Sunburned spot. That's true. Right on my nose. Right there. <laughs> it, it's it's I, it's all nuclear gravity's fault. I blame him completely. Okay, so I guess we just it was just telling us to build these if we ever got the chance. Oh, actually, we have. No, we already have this. Proximity explosive dice will explode when anything or anyone gets close to it. It's currently in therapy. So does this mean we can just select it now and then use it in a second? Let's, let's shoot this first and... I think, I think that's going to explode, right? Maybe not, actually. It exploded! <laughs> good stuff, good stuff. Uh, okay, so now if we... Whoa! Oh, oh, that's sick! Okay, so if we, if we drop that anywhere, whoever we drop it on will just... Whenever they get near it, they'll just explode. That's awesome. I'm definitely down for that. There's a swimming system. Of course there's a swimming system. That's awesome. It's a cool, pretty cool one as well. Uh, it doesn't actually give us a meter for how long we can hold our breath, but I'm guessing there's going to be a limited amount of time. Liberate the Dutch Island. Because we just go south now. We're going to look over here real quick. Uh, I don't know 
Is, is it usually just an auto saves? Oh no, there's a save right there. Just click it. Okay, cool. Awesome. Oh, that's melee attack. Nice. I wonder if we can get some good melee weapons. Um, like knives and stuff to pull off some good assassinations. Or if it's always going to be the same. We should probably be a little more careful than this, but we're just going to run around. Have some fun. Doesn't look like there's anyone here, which is good. This is a super cool uh, little area to start the game on. I'm liking it. I'm liking it quite a lot. You're done with work just finishing dinner and dishes. I just read that, uh, Reaper. But nice. Enjoy your dinner. What'd you grab? Cult Shrine. The reaping has begun! The Father's commanded us to raise these shrines throughout the region to spread the holy word. Once it's built, the sinners will try to deface it. We must defend these structures at all costs. We build these shrines so the Father's wisdom will take root and grow. Or Eden's Gate. Okay. Okay, there's another one right there. Perfect. So I guess those will, when we find those, will give us the location. Fastener is nice. We can make some more bombs. Money. I guess we can use that. wonder who we'll be able to spend that on. Handgun ammo. Perfect. I will say the stuff is not that... Iso's nose is unhabitable to look at. I have no idea what that means. Unhabitable. Uncomfortable. Painful. Just a nose, man. Nose with a little bit of cuts on it. Because my skin's peeling off. Are not obvious like... Yeah, I know. Which actually, I really like that. That's kind of nice. Because I would very much prefer them not be super obvious. And gun ammo. Nice. Let's actually reload this maybe? I don't know. I don't know. All right, so Tab and M give us the map. Uh, that's not the... Yeah, okay, so we need to go the other direction. Well, I kind of do want to swim out there to see what that cross is all about. Oh, what's that shit? Look at the, look at the pescado, the fish. They used to flash gold and be totally obvious, like, ev like every glowed. Uh, hey, it just... Oh, so we can't leave the island until we liberate it. Very cool. A little lame. It would show you where everything is. Yeah, I will be honest. I probably prefer this way. Uh, this is pretty damn cool. If you guys see something I miss, feel free to shout it out. Actually. Um, <laughs> pretty awesome. Not that I'm against large glowing items, but it's always fun to have to look a little, you know? All right, let's go towards this shrine over here. I wonder if we can, like... Mark it on the map. Set waypoint. We can. Cool. Pretty straightforward system, actually. And there it is. Probably didn't even need to set the waypoint, to be honest, but that's fine. Lame! Lame indeed. Alright. North Korea? What are you on about, Demon Reaper? You're not gonna let this go, are you, man? Sunburn happens to the best of us. It's part of life, dude. All Far Cry games are big on custom-tooled guns. Okay, cool. Well, I like it. I'm, uh, I'm down for some custom-tooled guns. Oh, there he is. I probably shouldn't have jumped off on here. We're probably going to get shot. Sorry, but it's so noticeable we ain't even going to stop the memes and the trolls. I know, man. I feel you. It's okay. It's all right. <laughs> it's all good, buddy. There you are. <laughs> Why am I moving the body? I guess the, the body moving mechanic could be pretty useful later on. Um, but probably not right now. Can we leave anything? Triangle is a true sport! Uh, I was doing a true sport when I got sunburned. That's that's true. We do have, Okay, we have two med kits now, which is good. I'll take it. Loot him. We have full ammo, which is kind of a bummer. <laughs> it is noticeable. Part of the reason it's so noticeable is because it's starting to heal, so it's starting to scab over just a little bit. 
Uh, it is kind of crazy how skin just like sloughs off when you get sunburned. I don't know if you guys have experienced that before, but it had been a long time since I'd been like really sunburned. And uh, I was kind—I was not expecting it. I really—I was. It's loot. Well, do you want to know a little something about ammo and many other things? Oh, we switch out, <laughs> switched out for a hoe. You know, I have a shovel instead of a hoe. Uh, I don't know. How? Like what? Like what about it? Is it going to be something I don't want to know, or is it something I probably do want to know? You got it between the eyebrows? Oh, that sucks. Yeah, I was lucky I was wearing goggles, so like the upper half of my face is fine. Oh, like why you can only hold so little? I mean, sure, why not? Let's explore this a little more. Also, what the hell is up with like the poison gas coming out of this shit? Who decided that was a good idea? I'm sure we can upgrade at some point. Shrine's destroyed! Nice. And we got some handgun ammo because we were... Kid, I just saw the cult grab a guy down by the docks. You help him out, and maybe he'd be willing to pick up a gun and return the favor. I wonder if there's going to be any fishing in this game. I bet there totally is. And if so, I'm excited for it! I would like to fish. Sunburn between the eyebrows. Having the having a peel right there. On the nose is not awful, because it's not like on the rest of my face, it's just right there. So it's not the it's not the worst, but it's not the best either. Oh. Hmm. Oh, this is the guy down by the docks. Go to the fishing docks. Alright. Let's do it. Then we got hostages! We take them out. One by one. With our hoe! The mighty hoe! We're gonna do it, chat. Oh, there they are. Yeah, look at that. They're like kicking him in the face and shit. What's wrong with that? Sleep time for me! I hope you have a good time or a good stream, sir, Dogum says. Dogum! Hello! <laughs> Enjoy your sleep, my friend, and uh, thank you. I, we're probably gonna end here pretty soon. Uh, we're just doing a short stream today. We're gonna be doing a very long stream of Far Cry 5 tomorrow, probably, because I'm enjoying it a lot. A lot, a lot. I can see myself playing a shit ton of this game. But thank you for lurking, man, and thank you for hanging out. All right, so he can get tortured a little more. We're gonna creep up on this lady and knock her out. Hey! Idiot! For every amateur type of money and medkits, every other user has upgrades to hold much more. The key is, funny enough, hunting. Oh, cool! That actually does make sense to me, to be honest. And, uh... I think, I mean, it is, especially with the open world RPG kind of mechanics, I figured we'd be able to, we'd be able to upgrade all of that stuff. I'll fight alongside you. Hey! We hired him! Nice, very cool. I will take it. Hey, deputy! Now that you're partnered up, the two you should head to the forest research station. Ghost's been crawling all over that place, using it as a depot for their goddamn bliss. Dude, Clear look at that! Out. Send a message. We're not fucking around anymore. It legit... floats before it disappears. That's kind of cool. Okay, you got it. Huh. Oh, there's like a marking... Is he about to go jump in the water? No, 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 no. No, 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 Get out. All right. Oh, that's cool. He's coming with us. Wait, wait, wait. Come here. Gotcha. So there's like a party system almost. I'm in position. Can we just make him follow us, or? Copy. Dude, that's awesome. That's awesome. Was this party system in the previous right. games? I'm ready. We've never had followers you can command. Interesting. Well, now we do. That's pretty nifty. I'll take it. Reach the forest research station. All right. We've already been here once, so I guess we're just coming here again. 
Press G. Okay, yeah, they're just teaching us this. Hire for guns for hire. Press G to order your gun for hire to move to a target location. Press G to order your guns for hire to attack the target enemy. Undetected, your gun for hire will try to stay stealth. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Moving. 